guys welcome to today's video today's the day before the show is show getting ready day what's that called show prep Hi. we're checking on the chickens bring their water they jug in have a lot of water how much water oh they do mm -hmm. make sure it's full and they're getting any yeah they're getting all right well you guys got lots of food i should this is what oh, yeah check for oh, eggs uh, we gave them oh they hate all the stuff Elizabeth oh look them. how cute I want to move so our chickens can be Boom. free range. I love a Wait, free range chicken. We love a free range chicken. It's speckled. Ooh, who laid the speckled egg? Zoe, Zoe. Uh oh, don't chase them this way. <laughs> don't come at me. Oh, they're really cute. So we get about two eggs a day. There we go. Lots of food. Lots of water. Lots of love. So today, Sam and I are going to do a bit of running around, get the stuff we need for tomorrow, because you all know we need stuff before we can go to a horse show. Um, and then we're having Chino braided by a professional, a professional braider, somebody with lots of practice. All right, maybe too many garden pictures. Maybe too much garden footage, you guys. But look at it, it looks even better today. Every time I come down, I'm excited to see what's growing. Some more tomatoes that are ripe. For me, mmm, I love them. Love them. Even these ones are starting to turn red. I'm trying to take off some extra leaves so that everything can get sun. I have a lot of tomatoes, you guys. A lot. Look at all those. And these ones are the best ones. They're so sweet. Lots on this bush, too. I like these little tomatoes. They're early tomatoes, and they're like a little bush, but they're really cute and strong and early. Sam's got the trailer all set up, ready to go. We're headed to the barn in just a few minutes, but every time we go to a horse show, I told you guys, every time we go to a horse show, Sam gets mad and says, oh, oh, oh. Sam says that he hates the hay nets that we have. So I have really nice ones in a bucket somewhere. Really nice ones. I just have to find them. And today is the day that I'm gonna find them. Find the hay net. Today's the day, hopefully I'm gonna find them. I thought I had them out somewhere already. I just found Gabby's baby spurs with leather straps. These have been missing for a long time. Boom. Oh, there it is. Oh, I found there it. it. Oh, there it is. There's one. So oh, this... is this a round sack? Yeah. I got one in the trailer in the back. What is it? The same one? Probably. So this is a better one. It's got bigger holes. You don't want to give them the one that was for Stella. Oh. So this is it. This is our hay net. You have another one of those then? Yeah. yeah. Why do you have one? I don't know. I have one in the trailer somewhere. In the back. You have one or I have one? Like you have your own or is it one no, of mine? I don't know. It's ours. Mine. All right. Here you go. I want two so I can fill one up and have one ready. All right. Well, the, what's the one in the trailer? I don't know. All right. Well, let's go look. The other thing I'm missing is the slinky. You guys know that we have slinkies for the horses. Well, I'm missing the full piece one that will keep Chino clean. They're tricky. It's called hay chicks. And yeah, it, that goes up. And they're tricky. They're tricky, tricky, tricky. You think that's enough hay? Sophie's gonna ride Finn, and then we're gonna get Chino's thing braided. Oh, it, it is hot in here. Well, much yeah. better. Since says there's a blue one. It is scorching. That's another one of my favorite pitchforks. It's oh. a broken one. I used for the trailer. Yeah, that's okay. This is blue one. Is this the same one? Uh, no. no. That hay looks bad. Those are the tack trunks. They're not in the tack trunk. Those are in the, I found them. 
Huh, my old ones. Yeah. These are children size too, and they fit. You can have them. Probably. So now you have an extra pair. And uh, Chino needed spurs. He's been really unresponsive to Gabby's leg lately. Spur straps that fit. You should put those in the tack trunk or put them on your boots. I'm putting them oh, on my boots. Way. All right, let's go. Time to go. Put the dogs away. Meet you out there to get the horses in the barn, and then we got to go to the barn. I've never even, like, I think I've used them once. Yeah, they look brand new. And it's hot out. You're not going to be able to wear that sweatshirt. No, I'm changing my shirt. All right, well, let's go. At Walmart, they always have these bags of apples. Whoa, they have these bags of apples on sale. And I always buy them because you know my horses be loving apples. Oh, it's hot, you guys. All right, come on, Penny Pickle. Molly, don't you dare. I know you're just trying to help, but it's not helpful. Hey, Molly. Come on. They're looking. Somebody always has to come first. Penny, Penny. <laughs> come on. Come on, Penny, Penny, Penny. Good girl. All of our horses know how to bite an apple. Gracie, get away. She's gonna. That, my friends, is a good apple right there. See it? See that nice, yummy apple? Uh oh. The pony parade. The pony parade. Girl. No. If the trailer was open, I was going to try and get Penny to come in the trailer with me. No, the back doors. All right, let's go. So you guys know that Storm blew a shoe. That's why we're not riding him right now. Um, Who's bad is that? I don't know. But I called the farrier and he's coming early next week. That's the best that I could do. It's the best. Why are you looking at my butt? All right, we forgot to get the braiding stuff. And. Does your mom look at your butt like you have a nice butt? Like You do have a nice butt. Listen, I, I made look. that butt. I created that butt. All right, braiding stuff. Let's see, what do we got? I didn't get it from your jeans. So. No, you didn't get it from my jeans. No. Okay, braiding stuff. You need, Dark right, this is it. Black. This is our whole bag. I'll show you what's in it when we get to the barn. This might be a mistake, but I'm gonna give him the rest of my cucumber. Uh. If he wants it. Mm, picky horse. Are you picky? Oh, who are you? So Selfie's gonna ride. Because she needs to work on things. I'm gonna help her. I'm just gonna braid for us. She's like a professional. Wait till you see. Her braids look amazing. So, what do we need to do? So she can bath him after. We brought all of our stuff. I'm gonna show you what we brought. We brought wool. We brought sponges. We brought our braiding kit. There's only one thing I couldn't find, and that's annoying me. And it was the little metal comb. And it might be in my purse. I'm gonna look. But I have these two combs. Scissors, yep. I brought the whole punch finally. So many of you guys will be excited about this because Chino's bridle, Chino's halter, has always been too big. Debbie just takes it and turns her back. It's always been too big and we've always been saying, we got it from Brandon, and we've always been saying that we're going to poke holes in it and we're doing it today. She liked the cucumber. Good, yeah, I liked it too. Um, so that's our braiding kit. And then we brought some Shoshin, some quick braid, some boot polish, and uh, this comb, and also something else. Also this uh, best braid stuff, it's like a wax. So Sophie's been walking around this whole time, has she? What? I'm gonna jump now. Oh, she's going to jump now? I need to get lunch for I'm dying. I'm oh, in my purse, there's a, there's a bottle. So good, I'll leave the camera with Dad. So, so let me see you put your legs on. 
Did you? Can you take me so I could jump? Oh, what do you do? You just tie it. Yeah, it is, but then it keeps going like this. That's okay, that won't hurt. And I don't want him to jump on his leg get caught in it. All right, how do I take it off? He's moving off your inside leg. Like, so these training rides are gonna be the thing, you guys. Sophie has reached the point in her journey that I remember Gabby making meeting at 11, and it's where you start to take responsibility for your own riding. And that's what separates a child from a rider. Are those days that you start to take responsibility, start to like learn more and be responsible for more and and realize like the importance of certain things. Yeah, he wants to put his head down. That's with a uh, snaffle, you guys. She's riding that horse with a snaffle. Yeah, that's a gorgeous canter. Let him go. You're holding too tight. Beautiful. She didn't get to ride him this week her second time because she's not having lessons on him two times a week. She's having lessons at another barn. Right, the final product. They are looking gorgeous. Let's look. Looks good. Looking good. You're ready. He's all bathed, all clean. Debbie's going to paint his feet. Did we get the halter fits him now? We're gonna try it. He's like, no, I get to go wherever I want. So Chino's all done. He's all painted. Look at those feet. He's grouchy. Oh, better. Still a little loose. Still low. That's no, fine. Yeah, as good as it's gonna get. So he's all good now. His feet be looking good. He's got a couple of little cuts on him. He's all shiny. His braids are looking good. Like that's nice. I can't even see the crack in his foot. You guys see it? From where he pulled off his shoe and then half of his foot went with it. Yeah, he did great. I love our new farrier. He's coming on Tuesday. Still not dry. I have All right. Now. Sophie rode. Fiona braided. We had a nice visit. This is all of our mess. I need to pack it all up now. I don't know if this is our sponge. I'm going to leave it here just in case. So I'm going to bring all this stuff with us. Like all we have left to do at home is pack up all this stuff in our trunk, pack the trunk in the, in the truck, get our clothes together because we actually get our clothes together at night. Like we wake, so we're waking up at four. We're going to jump into our clothes. I'm going to do something with my hair. Maybe I'll do it tonight. I just jumped out of the shower this morning and then we're going to jump in the trailer and be on our way you guys like this is it we've been waiting a long time to go to her first rated show and it's finally here it's finally here hopefully it's not like this because it is raining all right we ready where's sophie yeah put him in a stall he's like what do you mean in my stall See you in the morning, big handsome man. Hey, settle. There is no settle when you're a farm dog. There's no settling. All right, you guys, we got it. These are Sam's clothes. Ran out and ran he back. bought us this new cooler. This is our new show cooler. I like it. It's cute. These are all the drinks for tomorrow. That's a case of water in there. Plus, there's more water over there. Uh, peace tea for Gabby. Uh, Pepsi for Sam. Water for me and Sophie and for Gabby. We share all of our stuff with everybody because I like to make sure everybody has what they need. Um, also, I have two bags, two entire bags of surprises for the show. I brought two apples in here. I can show you. Two butter? apples for Chino. Oh, no. It's Pringles. All right, Gabby, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Are you going to do your best? Uh, probably not. Are you nervous? No. Okay. You know what I ate today? What? A burger and a tiny bit of fries and some pop. Good for you. A I meal. forgot to eat today. Yeah, I always forget a to meal. eat. I didn't eat all my fries because, um, Plus, I don't know, I think I got a little bit from the place and I don't know. I wasn't feeling good. But now I feel good. So I laid 
it down. Yeah. We're going to make lunch to take with us. And we're going to be up at 4 a.m. We're going to be on the road by 4.30. Four and then water. we'll be at the barn at 5 to pick up Chino. So if you are at Trillium tomorrow and you recognize us, please say hi. Uh, wish us luck. Wish Gabby luck. And uh, get ready for some show vlogs. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the